Hello, my name is Grian, and today I'm going to be showing you 10 recreation rooms, or entertainment rooms, or playrooms, whatever you want to call them. They're there to entertain whatever. So they're completely aesthetic, they have no purpose in Minecraft, but they are a bit of fun. So there's a few dining rooms and a few other extras, there's really a broad variety. So the first one is a modern design for a dining room. So we've got a painting, we've got some brutalist style modern decor with the quartz, we've got a nice big table and a nice mix of quartz, the stained clay and some snow because they all look rather modern when you stick them together and give them a nice little pattern. And you get a nice chandelier in the middle along with some like cool window designs. Honestly, you've seen a lot of the modern designs, they all kind of match up. Next up we have another dining room, however it's in our loft style with the slanting roof, some really cool chair designs using the door designs that Minecraft offer, you can obviously use any kind but the spruce one works really well in a lot of situations. So there's a lot of the same designs as I've showed you in these previous videos in this series, not too much to show, and there is a final dining room design that I want to show you which is mainly wooden based. We've got again another type of chair design using trap doors and some banners and there is a little bit of colour here with the red banners but again it is a wooden based one and you can see how the mixture of textures again as I've gone over before again not too much to see in this one just another design but now we're going to get into some of the more different things. We've got here a nice study so there's different ways of decorating there's a fish tank, there are these custom heads, we've got like a clock here, we've got some bookshelves, and then we've got a very strange way of making a cupboard. This is using world edit. You have to choose the very specific block. I'm not going to go into too much detail here because a lot of people don't actually have access to world edit, so you might be better off just placing a couple of doors like so, so you get the whole thing. But as you can see, they're actually placed on back to front. Anyway, moving on, there's way more exciting rooms to come. So we've got a nice swimming pool here with some dark prismarine as the base there. We've got like a lilo here, cup floating, and then we've got a nice diving board. Unfortunately, I didn't make the roof too high, so you just sort of fall in. And then at the back, we've got some changing room, men's and a women. So you go in and you actually find out that they're the same thing, so it doesn't even matter. We've got a bunch of buttons, I'm not sure why. But I, I, honestly, I don't know why, but you've got some cool showers here. The iron fence gates here, I'll put on some barriers, of course you need to be in creative to get the barriers, but other than that it's a really cool design, you've got a series of nice little patterns including the floor, you've got the adenzite again and the slabs, not too shabby. Next up we have one of my favourite rooms, the bowling alley, and there's a cool few tricks and tips in here. So apart from just being a majorly wooden room, we have these cool monitors that are sticking down using the custom maps as the black screen and some iron fence gates to make it look like a monitor. But what's best about this is we have a functional lane and what's really nice is there's like pins at the end, we got like a simulation of the bowling machine we got a bunch of like chairs and stuff but if you actually take like a snowball and throw it down the lane if you do it correctly like I just didn't let's try again if you throw it correctly it actually like bounces down the lane and it actually looks like it's bowling so the pins down the end are just armor stands with some iron armor on them kind of does the trick not the best but you know, you get the idea. Next up we have a disco featuring our favourite DJ Bok Box. He's one of the builders in my crew so he helps me with all these designs and stuff. So he's going to be DJing this room. We got some very simple designs here. Some speakers which I've shown you before. We got a little DJ booth with, you know, a turntable or rather note blocks or whatever, jukebox. And it's just a very simple room, but having something maybe in a basement is a nice addition if you're going for a more social house and having people there. Next up, we've got a proper playroom. We have these pool tables with the coolest trick I've seen in a long time. These are signs that have been used to look like pool cues. So these are pool tables, this is a roulette table, we've used some custom maps again to make it look like a proper table, you could obviously go into a little bit more detail than we did, this is just a very simple proof of concept, but these are like roulette tables, this is pool table, all very cool stuff, we've got some slot machines here which you can you know push up and down, push up and down, 
and this room hasn't really got much to it apart from, you know, the lamps with the banners on them, but that wasn't the point of this room. The point of this room was to show off these amazing tables, along with this, like, arcade machine. You could come up with a bunch of designs if you wanted to have a proper, like, games room. Honestly, the arcade was a little bit of an experiment. I think it looks okay. Maybe needs a bit of work on that one, but the pool tables, the roulette tables, really, really cool ideas. Next up, we have a mini bar room. This is meant to be almost outside or, you know, semi outside, which is why we have the sort of stone base, the sort of slant up to the mini bar. Then you've got these roof lights using trap doors. It's all kind of just meant to be one of those sort of funky places where you go and have a drink. It's not meant to be too fancy. It's just meant to be there for a, you know, aesthetic. So nothing too special there. Next up we have, or rather finally, we have the child's playroom. We've got an Elmo utilizing armor stands. This was meant to be a turtle. It's not a turtle. I don't know what I made there. It was meant to be a toy. The key to the child's room is the br bright colors. We've also got the fan design, which I think is a really cool idea. You just use some quartz and some iron fence gates, but yeah, using lovely bright colours. Look at those two armour stands, they really set the scene. You would be able to tell that this was a child's room. The underside of the quartz is a really nice touch for the ceiling. And that's it, we have all our designs. There was a bunch of different ones, so it wasn't just dining rooms. I know it kind of started off slow, but we got into some really cool ones, especially the games room. So we had the child's room, the mini bar, the games room with the roulette table and stuff, we had the disco, we had the bowling alley, also really cool, the swimming pool, and then we had the study, along with three different designs of dining room. I didn't want to do 10 dining rooms on their own because I honestly thought it was a little bit boring and overkill. So instead, we decided to do some recreation rooms, some entertainment rooms, the swimming pool, that kind of stuff, just to spice it up a little bit. So again, a big thank you to Adjust Me and Botbox for the designs. Honestly, they've helped me so much, I cannot say thank you enough. Go and follow them on Twitter. In fact, I'm going to link their Twitters in the description because they honestly deserve recognition for the work that they've been doing. They've really been helping me out a lot with the channel and I wouldn't be able to do as many uploads as I am without the help that I'm getting. So honestly, big thank you and a big thank you to you for watching. Thank you. Good boy. I think I said thank you like 10 times there. Should I say one more? Thank you.